I see you. <laughs> I saw your head running. Hey. Well, good morning. We are so excited for so many reasons. Uh, Halloween is this week, but next week we have a very special festival in the town of St. Petersburg. It's called the Blue Ocean Film Festival. And Canterbury, every single student at Canterbury is getting to participate in the Blue Ocean Film Festival. So we're so excited. We actually are getting every student and every teacher and every staff member a special Canterbury Blue Ocean t-shirt. So you're going to be getting those really soon. Yay! You'll wear those to your Blue Ocean events. Um, and so all of this is on the portals, and all of the teachers will have the details, but there are a lot of things going on with Blue Ocean. And it's a special film festival that promotes saving the ocean. So scientists and famous filmmakers from all over the world are going to be here in our city showing their films all about saving the ocean and animals that live in it. So we're very excited. Um, the first event is a, a community-wide cleanup. And we're going to be bringing our kayaks out to Clam Bayou to do a cleanup. And that is open to everyone. So if parents want to bring their kids and join us for the kayak cleanup, they just need to email me. And that is Sunday from 10 to 12 at our Clam Bayou Education Center. So that's where we go for our lower school marine studies day. So we're going to give that to that community that helps us out. And then Tuesday, we have kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and third grade, Tuesday, November 4th. You guys are going to the Mahaffey Theater for a special presentation on the riddle solvers. And they have some mysteries going on in the ocean, and they're going to solve them. And then Wednesday, where's grade four? Grade four? Oh, there we are. You guys are going to the Mahaffey on Wednesday. And so both of those trips are going to leave at 9.45, and you'll be back on campus by noon. So we're really excited. You're going to have your special blue ocean t-shirts to wear. And then um, we can't forget PK3 and PK4. You guys are going to have a blue ocean celebration here on campus with the upper school scuba crew. We're going to be showing videos and doing activities. So everyone's getting to be involved in the blue ocean celebration. And I'm going to call out Ms. Q because we've teamed up for the last Blue Ocean celebration, which is going to be Saturday, November 8th, and I'm going to have her tell you about it. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So who came to see the Little Mermaid? Raise your hand. <gasps> wow, wow, all of you. Who was in the Little Mermaid? Raise your hand. Look at that. I miss you guys. You miss rehearsal? <laughs> yeah, I miss seeing you guys so much. Well, guess what? Little Mermaid cast. We're going to get to do it again. <laughs> yes, not the whole play. Don't worry. I know, I know. Not the whole play. But we're going to sing Under the Sea, Four Unfortunate Souls, um, Part of Your World, Kiss the Girl, and Human Stuff again. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to do that at a festival on November 8th, Saturday in Straw Park. It's open to everyone. Everyone can come and see the Little Mermaid characters once again. And if you missed getting a picture with Ariel, guess what? You can come get your picture taken with Ariel once again. She's going to be in full costume. So, Little Mermaid cast, I'll be sending out the email today, your parents, with all that information. But we're going to be going into the green room and getting our makeup and costumes on again. And going and performing all those songs and being in costume for a day and meeting people. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everyone is invited. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. We're so excited. And some of our Marine Science Club members, our middle school club, are going to be there doing their science facts about the Little Mermaid characters. And then the last thing is Saturday night after that celebration, we have a reception on the Knowlton campus. And we're going to have 75 Fulbright scholars. These are really smart graduate students in the top universities. They've been here in the United States for a couple months studying at all top universities across the country, and they're coming to see Canterbury. They heard about our great free studies program and our international studies program and our theater program and our arts program, and they want to meet you and your parents. They want to meet American students, and they want to talk and, and find out all the great things you get to do at Canterbury. So that's going to be, it's kind of like a potluck. So we're going to bring American food, and we're going to meet these scientists and researchers, and you guys are all invited, and 
um, you can contact me or Mrs. Donovan, the head of international studies, about that opportunity, and it's, uh, of course, on the portal. So we have a whirlwind week next week, and we can't wait, and if you have any questions, or if your parents have any questions, please tell them to see me. All right, I'm so excited. We'll see you all next week. Let's thank Mrs. Cummings. She has worked very hard for all of this for us. Thank you. Lots of stuff to look forward to. Okay, I believe, Farrell, are you going to read for us? Good morning. Fourth grade is going to try and get you into the Halloween spirit. Uh, they have their artwork. Where's Mrs. Stenoff? Want to come out and talk about your artwork? And then Daryl can cheer up to them. Let me get you on. <laughs>